Hi, this is Dr. Nikki, and I want to talk about that subtraction running record with Miss Coco. Um, actually, she's really good. For a first grader, She remember, the fluency is within 10. Now, in some states, it's within 20. But in a lot of states, and in the state she's in, in California, it's within 10. And so she has fluency. Um, she knows her zero facts minus one, taking a number from itself. So where I would start with her, based on the data, is right there subtracting within 10. Like nine minus five, you just almost took her out, right? So she was able to say, I would use my uh, eraser board and I would, I would, you know, draw the board. I'd use that whiteboard and I would um, draw the pictures on it. Uh, and, and that's a, definitely a strategy. We just want to get her really fluent within that. And so I would give her facts within 10, 9 minus 5, 9 minus 6, 9 minus 7, 9 minus 1, you know, 8 minus 5, 8 minus 4, 8 minus 6. All of those facts within 10, subtraction facts, is what she should be practicing. And once she gets those facts within 10, the next level is to practice subtraction from 10. Because she, you're looking at friends of 10, right? And so she really needs to know her friends of 10 first. Um, and when you know your friends of 10, then you can relate it to subtraction from 10. So what is 10 minus 4? 10 minus 4, well, that's a friend of 10. 6 plus 4 is 10, so 10 minus 4 is 6. So that's where I would go with her. Subtraction within 10 and then subtraction from 10. And then I would go on to the other kinds of facts, you know, her her half facts, right, relating them to her doubles. Now, I wouldn't start working on subtraction with her until she knows all of her addition for up to the first grade fluency, and then I would start on the subtraction. Remember that Kami said, we rush to subtraction, and we tell kids think addition, and then they don't know addition, so they can't really think it. So there, you know, you've got to use a variety of strategies, and so I'd really make sure she gets those facts within 10 down for addition, and then the facts within 10 down for subtraction, and then the, um, the friends of 10 for addition, and then subtracting from 10 for um, subtraction. So um, those are just some of my uh, takeaways from this running record and the way that I can help her. Now, what I want you to understand is this is what a running record does, is it helps us to zoom in. So instead of just saying, oh, Coco has some trouble with subtraction, she's good at some things and um, she's not so good at others. Now we can say, here's where Coco is really strong in subtraction and here's where she needs to work on and we need to work exactly at this starting point. What a running record does is give you the point of intervention. We know with Coco we're going to start subtracting within 10. That's our point of intervention. That's the power of the running record. So thank you for joining me and try one. Happy mathing, Dr. Nikki.